All right, so in the previous section, we talked about uh, relational operators. So basically we have, let's say two different objects, let's say A and B, and let's say A is 6.3, B is six, you know, we could say is A greater than B. We see it as true. Is A equal to B? And that's false. But now if we have A and B both equal to 6.3, we see that the relational operator of equals is saying, is the value of A equal to the value of B? And in this case, it's true. But we also have what we call identity operators. And identity operators are meant to say, is one object um, the um, equivalent to the next object, right? Is one object the same as another object? Not necessarily are the values the same, but are the objects. So when we create variables within Python, those variables are stored in memory. So think about um, A as being a pointer to an object that contains this value. And B is gonna be a separate pointer um, or a pointer to a, a, another object in memory that contains this value, okay? So there's two different objects within Python's memory. Now, if we were to say b equals a, right? Now the values are still the same, but here's the question is, are the objects equivalent, right? So we can say, is a and b the same? And in fact they are, right? Because since b is equal to a, b is just pointing to the same object in Python's memory. But if I were to say b is equal to 6.3, now I see that they are two separate objects in Python's memory, okay? So the important thing to remember here is when we create these variables, we are creating objects contained in Python's memory. And if we simply make one object equivalent to the next one, or basically pointing to that same object, they will be, they will have the same identity, right? It'll be the same object. Now, you saw in the lesson that there's a, there's a, a couple of uh, peculiarities here around integer values, um, integer values within a certain range. Uh, Python will do some special caching, which makes the behavior seem a little bit weird, but we're not too worried about that. I just want the concepts of identity and relational comparisons, um, I want you to understand those well, okay? So to do that, let's go ahead and go through this knowledge check and hopefully this will help to kind of um, solidify uh, what we're doing with identity operators. So let's go back to our monitor problem, all right? So we have a monitor here that is equal to 3840 in width times 2160 in height. So we can go ahead and let's look at the value. We see that we have that many pixels, right? 8,294,400 pixels. All right, so now let's say you decide to give me your monitor, okay? So we can represent this by just saying, hey, my monitor is now equal to what your monitor was. And I can go ahead and I can assess my monitor and I'm gonna get the same value, right? So we can say, do our monitor variables have the same value? Well, we see that they do in the results and I can write out and I can say, is my monitor, is the value of my monitor equivalent to the validity value of your monitor, right? Oh. And the answer is true. That is in fact the case. The values that these objects or these variables hold are equivalent. Now, for it says or asks, are your are our monitor variables the same object? All right. So I would check that by saying, is my monitor your monitor object? Right. And the answer is true. Yes. Yeah, so think about it this way. Right. You had a monitor you gave me your, your monitor, it is now mine, but it's the same object, right? 
Same thing within Python, right? We assigned a value to this variable. Now we just made a new variable equivalent to this object. So they are the same object. They're sharing the same object space within memory, right? So the identity is equivalent. So now let's go ahead. We're going to update your monitor, this variable that you created up here. Let's go ahead and update that because you know what? You got a new monitor. Lucky you. And it's equivalent to 4096 times 2160. All right. So now your monitor value is equivalent to this. And we can say, well, now is my monitor equivalent to your monitor? Because I have your old monitor. You went and got a new one. Are this, they the same value? And I would check that with the equality, um, the equals comparison operator. And it's false. It is not true, right? Because recall your monitor here. Let's go ahead and check and see what the actual value of this is. 8,847,360 compared to this value of your old monitor, which is now my monitor. Okay. So the values are different. Also, we have created a new object in space containing these values. So we may ask the question, are our monitor variables the same object, right? Since we created a new variable for yours, um, we would think that we are likely having two different objects within Python's memory. And in fact, that is what we will find to be the case. My monitor is your monitor. And we see that as false. Now, the nice thing about Python is um, a lot of the syntax reads very much like how we would speak in English, right? So this is asking the question, is my monitor um, your monitor? I may ask a different question. Um, is my monitor not your monitor object, right? And I could just do is not, right? And I see now that's true because in fact, my monitor is a different object in memory space than your monitor. So this, this may be a little bit overwhelming, this idea of the difference between the values of a variable, um, two variables being equivalent um, or somehow comparing those values versus are the objects themselves the same object in memory space? And that's okay. We'll, we'll continue working through this. Um, you'll see more examples um, and hopefully it'll kind of, you know, conceptually solidify in your mind. Um, but for right now, the main thing is just realize that there's a difference between um, comparing the value of two variables and also comparing are those variables the same in memory space or are they different?